Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. Hi. So in this video, we're going to talk about what's your hot take. So in our last video, we narrowed down to uh, top three, then to perhaps our top one topic, and then perhaps a possible hot take. So before we dive into research, we want to narrow it down even further into a more specific take about what we're going to actually claim so we know what direction we're going into, okay? So our essay is going to be centered around this hot take or claim about this topic, okay? And our research is going to focus on whether or not this hot take is true. And if our hot take is true, we're going to find two reasons from our research and use them to create our thesis statement and from there write our essay, okay? If we find in our research that our hot take is false, we might have to revise our hot take, do a little more research, and then pick two reasons and then create our thesis statement, okay? So we have to draft our hot take. Um, or in other words, a claim statement. Now, once we get a little bit older, we're going to notice that there are about six or seven different kinds of claim statements, right? So there are, um, let me highlight these little buddies, okay? So there's impact, I don't know why I can never do this, personal connection, theme, review, pattern, connections, and new angles. Make those yellow. Okay, so they're yellow at the top. Um, and we're going to talk about what all of those mean in just a little bit. They're in this purple chart. So the one you're probably most uh, used to is impact. Impact means take the effect of something, we're going to call it a text, whether it's a book, a person, an object, idea, we're going to take a look and the impact is the effect a text has something larger than itself. So an example of a claim that's about impact might be Kendrick Lamar has revolution hip hop. So in this case, um, the person's hot take is that Kendrick Lamar has revolutionized hip hop and their research is focused on proving whether or not that is true. Um, the second part is a personal connection. This one is not necessarily something you can prove whether or not with um, research. So this one is a little different. Um, it's about what has something impact with you. So in this case, it has to do how uh, something has impacted a person. So in this case, John Lewis's book March has made you a civil rights activist. Again, that one's harder to prove with research. My guess is you probably won't pick that one. Um, if you are interested in a personal connection one, we will talk one-on-one -on -one and we will help you figure that out. Um, the third one that you are probably also really familiar with, probably similar to things you've written, perhaps with uh, A Raisin in the Sun and Speak, are theme. Um, what is the deeper meaning or purpose behind this thing? Right? So you maybe had to write about the theme in A Raisin in the Sun. Our example here is in River of Tears, the author's use of opposites contributes to emotional tension. So this theme, this deeper meaning of emotional tension. Um, review. We often think about reviews like as in review of movies or sports, um, but this can be the purpose of something. So we think about you're making a judgment call. What is this overall success of something? The effectiveness. So you can make the Patriots Super Bowl win came down to one simple play. So what is the overall effectiveness or success of something? Pattern or trends has to do with um, looking at something over time and how has it evolved. So you might be comparing it, you might not. So the example is today's true crime podcasts and documentaries are America's new monster stories. So it's looking at this trend of monster stories over time. Connections is maybe seeing how two or more things are related or how are they similar? How are they not? 
So this one's about reading the book The Fisherman, how it's similar to uh, work by the author Chinua Achebe. New angles. I think personally this is my favorite, and I hope you really try it. Um, it's about taking a new perspective on things that people maybe not are willing to look at or taking a new perspective on an assumed belief. So there's a show called House of Cards, and it's about politics. But in this take, someone says House of Cards isn't about politics. It's actually about marriage. Um, and so that is something interesting you could say about House of Cards. It's presenting a new angle, a new perspective on this text. So you are going to take your topic and you're going to start brainstorming what are different claims or takes you could take. So if we scroll, you have a similar purple document. Um, this time we have the, the type and the definition in the far left. Then we have my example in the middle and then yours right here that's blank. You only have to write uh, three total examples. Okay, so you're going to come up with three possible claims. Even if you think, yes, you, whoever you is, even if you think you know which direction you're going to go in, I want you to think about uh, what are three possible claims um, that you can make about your topic. I want you to push yourself in directions that you never thought possible. Frankly, I thought immediately that I was going to write about impact, that uh, this first one, that the medieval English royal family has significantly impacted the modern world more than most people realize. Frankly, I thought that's where I was going to go. But I forced myself, because I'm the teacher, to do one for every single one. And it wasn't until I got to this last one that I was like, dang, that's a really good idea. This new angles that medieval English queens were not damsels in distress, but strong feminist icons. And I thought, you know what, that's a way better idea. So I want you to push yourself and try to come up with a claim for at least three of these different types. So... It's not three for each, it's just three total, all right? So give it a try. Um, if you get stuck, ask for help. I will help you, but try it on your own first before you melt down and ask for my help. Thank you. Hi! Okay, so we are now in step three, part B. So here, last time you were up here and you were kind of brainstorming different kinds of claims. Um, our next step here is you're going to take your favorite of your claims from step three, part A, in that step above. And you're going to put it right over here next to mine. I decided to pick the, I believe, some medieval English queens were not damsels in distress, but strong feminist icons. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to brainstorm two to four possible why reasons why you think this claim may be true. Okay? You may not know for sure. These are just your guesses. Okay? These reasons will guide your research and help you write your formal thesis statement. So on the left-hand side, I have my possible reasons. So this was just my gut reaction, um, my guesses. These are things I just know from watching TV or reading books, conversations. Um, some of the stuff I just know straight out. Like, I minored in history, so I know of specific examples of queens ruling in times of crisis. Um, I think, though, that they were foreign diplomats. I think they led movements to keep the throne. Um I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they had power over their husbands sometimes. I'm not sure. But I just wrote it down. These are just some quick ideas. So you are going to do the same thing right here. Uh, your favorite take and your possible two to four reasons why you think it's true.
Okay. Um, that's all you have to do. Thank you very much.